Hey, whoa. Happy Monday. I'm Kenzie. And I'm Lily. Let's get this week started off with some news. Stay tuned for news on sports, clubs, and more. But first, let's roll the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. A rolling pin is a resource. I can't hear you. I love y'all. Peace out. Today's clubs are Woe Access in the North Library. An open lift for all students is happening this week after school from 3.40 to 4.30. For more details, go to bit.ly slash panthersstrength. West Ottawa Young Republicans meet 7 a.m. on Tuesday mornings in Mr. Megan's room, A261. The holidays are approaching and so is the toy drive, a special annual tradition here at Woe. This year it runs from November 27th to December 15th. You will work with your first hour to support one of our very own students in need here at West Ottawa. Toys and clothes that are donated need to be new and unwrapped. Donations of wrapping paper, tape, boxes for clothes, and gift bags will also be accepted. Plus, there is a volunteer opportunity available for those who want to help wrap gifts. If interested in volunteering, please contact Ms. Engel or Mr. Clausen. Students, remember, you may not park in a painted spot in the student lot. Those are reserved for the seniors that painted them. Leave painted spots empty unless you paid to park there. Freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, it is course planning time. This year we have moved up course planning and it begins today. Today you will watch elective videos in each one of your classes and tomorrow you will have a seminar freeze to audit your transcript. Wednesday each hour your teacher will show you a core course class and have a slide deck of options to help you choose the next best course in the sequence. Finally, on Thursday you will confirm your course selections with your seminar teacher and make an appointment to see your counselor. Counselors will be seeing freshmen first from December 11th through 18th. Next, counselors will see juniors and sophomores after the holiday break from January 29th through February 4th. Counselors will also be meeting with sophomores from February 11th and 18th. Woe College Advisors will be hosting Part 1 of FASFA Workshop for Families on December 14th in the North Library from 5 to 7. Families will learn what they need to prepare for this year's new Better FASFA and create their FASFA ID. They will have an admissions representative from Hope College there to help answer questions. If you have a social security number, you must have it prepared for these events. If you do not have a social security number, that is okay too. Families can still complete the necessary parts of their student's FAFSA without one. Additionally, if families have a laptop or Chromebook, we recommend that they bring it. No worries if not though, we will be in the library where computers will be available. Are you interested in taking international baccalaureate classes? Scan this QR code to make an appointment with Mrs. Farney. She will tell you all about the IB program and how you can fit in into your schedule. Start planning now so you can take IB classes your junior and senior year. You can possibly earn college credit. Learn more about it and make an appointment with Mrs. Farney today. She is available to meet Tuesdays and Thursdays during 5th and 6th hour. Calling all polar plungers. An informational meeting will be held on Thursday, December 21st during seminar in room A105. This meeting is for anyone who has already signed up to polar plunge or to be a frozen friend. We will be answering any questions you may have about this event. If you have not signed up and would like to be a part of this, please email Mrs. Brenner at brennerj at wasaddle.net in order to be transferred to this meeting. All are welcome to attend. Kenzie, did you hear that the K-pop club will be performing at this year's Winter Assembly? Oh my gosh, no way. Let's check out this video and learn more about them. Welcome, welcome to K-pop club. My favorite thing about K-pop club is definitely um, the people dancing and like the energy in here. Uh, it's, it's made me very happy. It's a very, very good experience. I enjoy it a lot. I look forward to it every week. Um, my favorite part, I think honestly, is just the community with everyone and just there's so many new people that you meet 
all the time and you just get to share a love of K-pop. I actually joined because my friend got me into K-pop back in like 2020 and she loves to dance and stuff so I came to support her. Because there was a group that I was interested in and I wanted to know more about more K-pop. So I joined this club and it helped me branch out. I explain to people or people actually get to know what K-pop is like rather than what their initial thoughts are. Um, it's a lot, they think a lot better of it rather than just the initial hate that it always gets. Once I explained, it's no different than listening to any other music in any other language. My least favorite part is probably when it gets like stressful towards performances. Like all of us clicking together and stuff, but usually we like pull together really nice. Um, so it doesn't really, it ends up working out in the end, but yeah. My favorite part about doing the Winter Assembly is honestly just performing the songs in general and just... I love like the energy. I've definitely made like a couple of new friends in here now that like I hang out in here once a week, you know. Unfortunately, it's time to get back to work. It's Monday, so let's make it a great week. Keep grinding these next three weeks before holiday break. Bye. Bye.